The latest episode of Queendom Season 2 started with the group's condition after the announcement of the second round rankings. What did the girls think about their current place in the competition? The performance packed third competition also began, and it seems that the girls are ready to give their all for a table turning round. How do you think they'll prepare for it? Let's find out. Once again, Yolin topped the second rankings with an all kill. With this alone, she appears to be unrivaled in terms of talent, charm, and daring performances in the competition at the moment. But the other groups, especially Luna, are now challenging themselves to be number one after they experienced being the second spot. Who knows? It might just happen in the next round. On the contrary, the groups in the lower rankings were more worried on how they'll avoid elimination. Brave Girls members who were on the sixth place continuously sighed after they went back to their waiting room. Leader Min Young cried while saying, We can't do it even if we try. Can we not come in last place? The unexpected rankings were still a shock to them. They can't believe that they placed last after they gave a good performance. Well, as they said, it's not the end until it's over. Let's introduce the third round of the competition. It is divided into two themes, the position unit battle and the fantastic queendom battle. In the position unit battle, they will choose among their members who will represent them for the vocal and dance units. For each unit, they can gain 2,500 points, so that's a total of 5,000 points if they win in both. Next is the Fantastic Queendom, which is a group battle where they had to perform songs recommended by the fans. If they win, they will receive a whopping 15,000 points. A table turning round indeed. To prepare for the third round, the girls were brought to the Queendom workshop, and upon entering, they had to choose the unit they want to join right away. Last week, the group collaborations were spoiled online, but it didn't take away the excitement on how they showed the process in this episode. First, they divided the teams into three dance groups, in where they showed choreography for three songs. The first one is Kaboom, which has a playful dance vibe. The second one is Greedy, which is a mix of sexy and modern dance. And the third one is Purr, which is a hip-hop dance. The teams had to choose their dance group in the order of their rankings. The one with the lowest score goes first, but if a higher ranking team chose a group with two teams already, the lower ranking team should move to another dance group. After a few mixes and match, Yolin and Wuju Sonya teamed up for Kaboom, Brave Girls and Luna teamed up for Greedy, and Kepler and BBG teamed up for Purr. As for the vocal units, the teams were asked to think of a hope song that they wanted to sing. With this, the other themes would know their preferred teammates in terms of song genre and singing range. Thankfully, they formed well-balanced vocal groups. Luna and Kepler were torn between two songs, IOI's Downpour or EXO's Don't Go, but they decided to go with the latter. BBG's Yunha and WJSN easily chose back Yirin's Across the Universe according to the range and color of their voices. And lastly, Yolin requested to sing Wall Force to my youth. Brave Girls Minyoung is not familiar with the song, but after reading the lyrics, she realized why Hyolin chose it. They both experienced hardships in their careers in the past, and still, they wanted to succeed in everything they do. Hyolin believed that Minyoung will be the best in expressing this song honestly. The three vocal units gave a preview of what they have practiced so far during the mid-evaluation. Aside from the promising performances, there's one thing that caught the netizens' attention. It was Kepler's Kim Che Yun who appeared completely different on the show compared from the last time they saw her. Che Yun's body and face looked a little strange. They were worried and left comments like, Compared to her face before, it seems to have changed a lot. I hope she is healthy and I hope she's not too stressed out. After dinner, they went straight to the mid-evaluation or interim check. The vocal units perform first, and the rest of the girls had to choose which group they are excited to see on the real stage. The winning group will get to choose the order of the cue sheet during the live performance. What an amazing advantage! But that part was cut off right even before the winner was called. It jumped right to the part where the dance units were preparing for their practices and waiting for their special guest teachers, which was shown in the preview last episode. Yes, the street woman fighter dancers are finally here! La Chica members Gabby, Ryan, and Simmons will teach the Kaboom team. Holy Bang will teach the Purr team. And Proud Mons Monica will teach the Greedy team. The preview is already showing some drama, so there's definitely more to see in the preparations for the third round. The next episode will surely be exciting.
So, what do you think about the groups formed for the collaborations? Which vocal and dance units do you think will give outstanding performances in the next round? Let us know in the comment section. Until next time!